Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Price here with an update on the KR2S. Uh, last week's video was a video about frustrations and issues. So it's been a week and I fixed most of them. So let's talk about it. Uh, just 30 seconds ago, I got done fixing a couple of things. So I talked about how I accidentally uh, sanded through uh, and I found wood grain. So what I had found out is that this part of the rear spar ended up being a, a high point. So I sanded real quick, just sanded down back to the wood and the fiberglass. And just, I ended up sanding down this wood a little bit more to not make it a high point anymore. Put a straight edge on it to make sure it didn't stick up. And then I just stuck one layer of fiberglass on it. So that's gonna cure overnight. And then I can fill it back in and sand it out. Um, I think I talked about last week how this was an issue. Um, that's already been glassed and filled and I tried the epoxy method on it this time. So I've skim coated, uh, six layers of epoxy on it, just real thin, just, just to fill all the little imperfections you see. They are filled in. Uh, I'm working on sanding, I'm sanding it down with 220. I will say if you use the epoxy method, uh, don't use aero epoxy. It, it gums up the paper. I think, uh, West systems is the way to go from what I hear. Uh, the other thing is I had a little crack right here in the fiberglass in a void. So I sanded that down and just fiberglass that. So that's, I just put that on you know, like a minute ago and that's curing. So I'll fix that in the next couple of days. Uh, the rest of the day today in the past week was working on this bad boy. So I had done a lot of work on this. I had to rebuild this whole front by hand. Um, and then I found out my distributor didn't clear. So I had to do a blister. So I did a lot of uh, filling and sanding, and then today I spent about probably two hours uh, sanding all the glazing putty and then spot filling any pinholes I found. So I actually sprayed a quick coat of primer on this yesterday to find a primer. I call it a pinhole identifier. Uh, I sprayed a layer on it yesterday and there were just pinholes everywhere from all the work I had done. So that I spent this morning uh, before lunch filling in all those little pinholes with filler and then... Um, sanding it all out uh, actually a couple times and then uh, I did the same thing on that bad boy and then I took it out this afternoon and I shot uh, 2k primer on it it actually looks pretty good I'm happy with it I did have a couple pinholes show through like maybe if the camera could find yeah that guy right there uh, that is three of well four of hundreds that I dealt with today so I'm happy with that I'll spot fix that when the time comes so uh, this and that is, well, that and the ailerons are the last things I needed to prime. So everything on the airplane is now primed. I'm happy. So I will spend the next couple of days blocking this down and that down and getting it ready for paint. My supplier shipped uh, the, uh, the missing activator I needed. I should get that on Wednesday, I think. So if all goes well and I can fix, uh, finish, do the finish work on that and that and that, I may be able to paint next weekend. I'm kind of back on track and I am feeling good. The, the one last thing I got to figure out is the uh, stuck fuel sender in, uh, I said it backwards last week, it's the right wing. Uh, I'm going to do my darndest to deal with it before I have to cut into the fuel tank. I think I can make it work. I, I knew it was an issue when I built it. I had the issue on the left wing when I first built it and I was able to work it through and loosen it up a little bit and extend the, um, the float uh, arm moment on it and get it to work. So I think I can do the same thing with the right tank. We'll see. Hopefully I don't have to cut into it. But uh, things looking up, I'm in a better mood. So push through any issues you have and keep on working hard and good things will happen. Uh, once again, hope everyone's having a good time building and I'll see you on the next one.